Hi everyone, Amy here with Amy's Wares and I have a quick batch of stenciled Christmas cards to share with you. So let's jump right in. Now this is the Icy Snowflake Stencil. This is an older one from A Colorful Life Designs. And I do have a coupon if you shop Amy Fan 10. Apply that at checkout. And I did apply some Pixie Spray liberally to the back of the inside portion of the stencil. I am going to use a couple of colors from the Spa Collection at Catherine Pooler and my blending brushes. Now here is a photo of the finished cards. I do make one for you on this video. However, I was able to batch three more really quickly just because it is such a simple yet pretty design. So I'm going to lay this stencil down directly on the card base and I will use my brayer to kind of really push it into the cardstock, but that pixie spray is going to hold it in place, which you want when you have this many sort of little delicate bits and uh, design features on a stencil. Now I am using the magnets to hold my card base in place on my Wendy Vecchi station tool simply because I'm not working on a panel. I'm working directly on the card base and I don't want to get any extra ink um, from the station tool on the back of my card base. So what I'm doing here I'm starting with this gorgeous daydream teal color and I'm going heavier handed in the center and then kind of lighter handed as I move outward on the snowflake towards the tips. So the tips of the um, snowflake are going to be a lot less saturated in color and then the deepest is going to be right in the center. Now I'm going to come in with this juniper mist color which is really super juicy so use this one with caution um, and a lighter hand but I'm doing the same thing and going heavier handed in the center and then blending outward and I do end up coming in with more of the daydream because I didn't want it to get kind of lost in the shuffle with that juniper mist. So here I'm done with the ink blending portion. You can see how quickly that came together. Just going to wipe off my Wendy Vecchi station tools so I can make a few more of these real quick. But first all, First off, I'm deciding what, what way I want to add some sparkle to this. Um, initially, I was thinking this little squirt bottle with water and perfect pearl, but then I remembered I have this awesome shimmer spray, which is just so glittery and pretty. So you want to shake it up really well, and I decide to remove this stencil first and then just spritz down this shimmer spray directly on the card base. But first I want to kind of tone down the white, so I'm just taking some residual ink and again a very light hand and kind of brushing over the white. Now this shimmer spray doesn't show much on the screen, but it is so gorgeous. If you turn it in the light, it just looks like crystally pretty snow. It's so gorgeous and I always forget that I have it. So I kind of deliberately put it right in front of my face on my craft desk so I would remember to use it. Now I have this cool holographic paper. I got it from, I believe, Joanne. Um, and I have this beautiful Merry Christmas die cut from Paper Rose. And what I love about this is that it's all connected in one piece. Piece. So the two words are connected and even the tittle is connected. So I don't need to be chasing that around my craft room. But I am going to attach it to the card with these micro dots. These are Artist Tack micro dots and I get them from Amazon. I will link them in the video description box below with all the other products that I used. But basically you just burnish your finger on it and then it applies little tiny glue dots all over the back of your die cut so you can attach it directly to your card base. Now I will tell you every once in a while you'll get some little extra glue dots on the front of your die cut and if you're using just a regular card stock you can use an adhesive eraser and it'll come right off but if you do it on um, a metallic or kind of a shiny surface card stock then it might kind of smudge around. So I got a pro tip from somebody on one of my videos. You can actually take some rubbing alcohol and a q-tip and kind of get the little glue dots off the front of your die cut if that happens. So pro tip there. Now I decided to turn the card horizontal orientation and now I'm just adding some little um, iridescent sequins here in odd numbers. I have three on one side and two on the other in various sizes. Just using my jewel picker to lay those down but that's ultimately going to finish the design. It came together super quickly. So if you need quick um, holiday or Christmas card ideas and maybe give this stencil a try. It is gorgeous and I don't feel like it's lacking. Even though it didn't take me all day, I still would be proud to send this to somebody. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please hit the thumbs up and consider subscribing. And if you shop, be sure to use my coupon AmyFan10 at checkout at A Colorful Life Designs. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye.